I'm going to start recording. Hello everyone, so hopefully with sound this time we'll have a Monday night gaming. As always, I'm your host Chris Sheriff, but unfortunately there is no one joining me on the desk tonight because Calvin's sick, so we uh, wish him a speedy recovery from Nurgle's Rot. And Greg is covering downstairs because one of the staff phoned in sick tonight. So it's just going to be me. I'm going to do my best. The, the status updates and everything on the table are probably going to be a little bit off because for the games that I'm playing in, I won't have ever, anyone to do it. So we'll try and cover whatever's happening in the commentary as best we can. So we're just going to have open mics and table talk. But we'll do the best job we can. And then for all of the other games, I'll be here to commentate and do all of the updates. So I'm going to be playing against Aaron. We're both running Imperials. So we're going to have some nice table talk we'll discuss the tie striker what we think about that ship and then we'll talk about u-wings later on in some of the later games so without further ado i will throw it over to the table so there we go much better that time <laughs> yeah people can actually hear you when you turn your mic on yeah it's great okay um, and, and so it fits so do you want to talk about lists first or yeah we can do that while we're setting up asteroids and stuff sure. so uh, i'm at 100. i'm also at 100 so i'll take the misses it was a miss <laughs> oh um i'm 665 for mine. 665 i'm nine seven one and one i will take the initiative and place the first rock i'm gonna debris over here so do you want to talk about your list first um I basically have uh, Pure Sabek starting out with the uh, title, uh, Lightweight Frame and Crack Shot. Yep. I'm trying to keep Sabek pretty much as cheap as possible. Uh, then at sixes I have Vessary uh, with Expertise to try out, test out my theory of is Expertise good without four attack dice or with two attacks. Um, oh, is Expertise good when it's not on Ray? Yes. <laughs> Or Dengar, or something along those lines. Yeah. Uh, so Expertise, the Tide D title, and Tractor Beam. And then Riad with uh, PTL and X7 title. Yeah. That's right there. So I, I like your list. I still think it would be better with uh, X7 on both. Mm -hmm. And then I'd do Duke on Vessary, probably. And that's probably the case, too. I just I want to see if I can make Tide D work this way. Yeah. I, I did an epic with ruthlessness, and it turns out that was a horrible dick move. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's just this one. But just a mustache rock to go. Can I sit there? Not a chance. Not even there. So, shall we talk about my list then? Um, this is one I've been trying to enjoy. I was going to try and keep secret, but I needed to get it on the table and see if it works. Yeah. Oh, I've played four games with it, and it's gone relatively okay when I play it not terribly. So we have a quick draw, who has Rage, uh, Electronic Baffle, Pattern Analyzer, Special Ops Training, and a White Weight Frame. So I'd say a standard quick draw, if quick draw was ever on the table. Yeah, that's I've, I've never actually played quick draw, but I haven't seen her without Rage and yeah. Baffle, so yeah. you're, you're pretty spot standard there. Then Major Rhymer with Tie Shuttle, Tactician, Inspiring Recruit, and Snapshot. So the, uh, the, the standard rhymer that everyone should be fielding now, I feel. No, it's definitely a thing. Not the worst ship in the game. And then just two Imperial you're, trainees. You're very far from the worst ship in the game with rhymer. <laughs> They're... Oh. Managing to keep a rhymer that seems like it might be okay and only costs 31 points is an achievement yeah. for me. Which means you're not loading up on ordnance, yeah. which is the death of any bomber. Yeah. Or most bombers. Yeah, it's just two Imperial trainees, so I will deploy my Imperial trainees. And as I've said about a hundred times at this point, these models are massive. I did not think that they were going to be this big. <laughs> They're awesome as well. They're yeah. really nice. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I knew that the the lower strikers would be able to move their wings, but I didn't think the models would. Yeah. So I think this is the first movable small base ship we've had, or with the movable um, component. Yeah, I think so. Because there was the Lambda, the Gazanti has its little turret. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> the the CR90 has movable parts. Uh, the Falcon has the dish yep. that can flop up and down. Um, so yeah, nice. we're going the to experiment. The U-Wing has the ability to scissor. That came out the same time though. Yeah. Uh, so Ryad, not Sadak. I'm going to have to try and get the Twitch chat on my phone so that I can keep up to date with what's going on. And, you know, have a side benefit of bumping up some viewing figures. Yeah. So, I may try to joust you. I, I think that's probably a good choice if you're a tactician. Alright. So, can I change this to chat only? And I haven't flown the striker yet, so that's why I went for the giant spread, so that I can I can mess up as little as possible. Um, strikers like an open field. That and that's kind of what I assumed yeah. is because your your turns are two banks in yeah. a row. So yeah. Uh, I'll bring in mine on the side too. I don't know why I'm measuring that way. I definitely know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's okay. No one minds. Sure. Let's go with that. And your two strikers just have the title, right? Yep. Yeah. No lightweight frames. They die real, real easy. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Good luck, then. So. Have you seen Rogue One? I have, I went opening it. Which means we can talk about Rogue One as well. Yeah, we can spoil all the things for everyone. Uh, it's always worthwhile. I, I'm pretty sure I saw on Facebook that you liked it. Oh definitely, yeah. I think it is my favourite X-Wing film. Sorry, my favourite. Star Wars film. This, I've this franchise is just an entire new name for you. Your life has been that consumed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, how do I want to approach? I think that's what I want to do. Okay. I'm all good. You're getting some pretty bad static. Let's have a look. Okay. So I'm going to turn my mic off and you guys will have to tell me if it's still bad. Um, am I still super staticky? Test. Test. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, pass me your... So is the static coming from your mic then? Okay, pass us your clippy bit. Yep. You'll need the uh, the cover, the, the wind cover, and the clip because this one doesn't have them. Fun times. Nothing is going to go right tonight. Luckily, I haven't started the clock or anything yet, so we're okay. We're safe. Evidently. Sorry, did you mean the... Yep, that bit. You are correct. There you go. Try that. Yep. Sorry about this, guys. We're getting there. Again, it's harder when it's just one person. 
test. How does that seem? Better? I think it's better. Okay. Well, they'll tell us if it's still terrible. By untangle, I mean stretch it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to start moving myself. Yep. I need to check what moves I did now. Go right ahead. So this guy is going to flop this way. Then he's going to reveal a three bank. And he will take an evade action. I, I think I have enough range of motion now. <laughs> <laughs> um, this guy is also going to flop in the same direction. Then he's only doing a one though. Okay. Oh. It's almost like you know what you're doing. <laughs> Not no, quite. And a barrel roll? Yeah. Yeah. Static seems to be gone. That's good. Kay. There we go. So, Raya. all of your stuff. I'll get my range two reel ready. Oh, yeah. You know me so well, Chris. Uh, somehow you didn't manage to get into range two of Vessery with your opening move. It's it's remarkable how that happens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, choices, choices. I'll leave her there. Yeah, you will. That wasn't really a choice. It's, it's going to be all, all of this tonight, isn't it? Oh. Oh. What does that mean? It means you're probably going to barrel roll. It means I'm probably going to barrel roll, yeah. No, yeah, if I went straight, I'd still hit. Which way would I like to barrel roll, though? There is no right choice. There is no right choice. Fly right. off a table. The shame of losing to Rhymer is strong. I, I'll just, I'll just take a moment. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you just explode all of my list and I cry a little bit inside. Yeah. You need, you need some kind of retribution. So trash talking on stream. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a good way to get it. <laughs> uh, sorry. Flat -pity, flat -pity. You flop, then you reveal. Yeah. That is the right order, right? I think so. I think so. Okay. Yeah. You're asking me about like game rules and stuff. <laughs> um, I don't know any of that. <laughs> I'll roll. Stop doing that. Okay. <laughs> okay. I good. will do a two forwards with Rhymer. Because, you know. Take it nice and slow, mm -hmm. then I will barrel roll, but I'm more decisive than you, so I didn't need to um and hour about it. Then, quick draw, it's coming in, and he's also going to do a barrel roll. Mm -hmm. Almost like you had a plan. That's where we differ. That's why I like interceptors. You don't actually have to plan ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you just put the full the too hard turn in and then work from there. Exactly. As long as you're doing you're it too like, hard, you're fine. You'll like the strikers then. All right. Okay. Now the real ships that are important to me.
Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm good. So I'll try this back one first to see if I manage to keep it on the table. Okay. So we flap. Mm -hmm. And then we move and I think we're good. Should still be on the table. Or you will, also, we'll say yes. <laughs> I have play in the nubs if I want to be that guy. That's that's fair then, yeah. <laughs> You're good. As long as you have that, I don't care yeah. what you do. Um, and then he will evade. Alright. You no, know, fact, this guy is going to focus if you can't kill both of them. Can't kill both of them. It's true. I physically cannot kill both of them from this side. <laughs> uh, where are you? Yeah, Greg is not helping with commentary because one of the other staff called in sick. So he's actually being good guy Greg and helping downstairs. Focus. Uh, I'm sorry. Go for a target lock on Rhymer, which I'm oh, actually able well, If you like, I'll check if you were in range two of me. No, you weren't. <laughs> I think you're good. <laughs> uh, let's try for one on quick draw then. Oh, sorry. Oh. oh. We'll say out for that one as well, so no need to push. Okay. Okay. Card three, doing the most predictable of moves. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. I know my place. <laughs> I still have Sabak as well. Oh yeah, that's true. Focus there. Uh, and so, I'll do one straight for Sabak. And then zoom past me. Yep. Which I'm sure then you'll do your one bank hard two, or hard one, sorry? Yeah. It's fine. But it means my ships are alive and not in danger. It does mean that. And you, all you have to do is just kill Rhymer. Yeah, it's And fine. it's like winning. Sabak, four dice. Yeah, focus. Okay. So Rhymer is doing a three bank. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's going to barrel roll. Okay. To I think you're out. I should be. Uh, now I will bump though because yep. of that barrel roll. Terrible. Just, just yeah. terrible, Chris. Oh, it's fine. I don't mind. Alright. Then that is your shot. Yep. So shooting from quick draw. You got two onto Vessary. Uh, no okay. range for the range two on two. Yep. Who would you like to stress? Or sorry, quick draw first. Then you stress. Me. Um. I think we will go for Riyad. Okay. That was range two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we don't need to roll in a dice cam either because it's not turned on. So okay. just call what we roll. Uh, range two and For two hits. Two hits. For zero evade, or one evade, one evade, so spend the token. Yeah, for zero damage. But there's one token gone. Now, who would you like so, to stress? Uh, I would like to stress Ryad, please. Okay. You guys didn't change up the skin? Uh, yes. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, Greg's having to cover for somebody. Oh, okay. uh, so. Range two. 
for no nothing. Heads. Stress. Um, take stress. All right. Uh, I'm going to fire with Vessery first. Yep. Because then you get to boost me left and fall. Yeah, I do. Uh, so tractor beam first. Yeah. For two hits. One of eight. Sad time. Okay. Uh, so my tractor beam token is an IA token because yep. I'm horribly unprepared. Uh, where's my one? Oh, power roll in me. Oh. It's almost like I would like you to have shots from Vessery or Riad. Uh, if you boosted me, you would have had the shots. Uh, you have to boost one. straight. Oh, is it? So it has to be straight. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, tractor beamed, then a range three shot, which I'm okay with. Well, it's better than none. Uh, so expertise yep. makes it. Uh, Hit and a focus to two hits. Two evades. Uh, you only oh, roll two. I rolled too many. Yep. Wait, um, you have no, no light reframe. No evades. That's on quick draw. Okay. It's on quick draw. You had light reframe on something? Yeah. Yeah. On no. quick draw. Sorry, I right? thought you were shooting at Rhymer again. Yeah. So <laughs> I, did, I did evade. Yes. I do have light weight frame. That is correct. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, so all of that convoluted nonsense <laughs> of me trying to cheat and then not cheat was no damage on quick draw. Yeah. So, uh, range two shots. Wait, I did, I did shoot him though. Oh, so it was the on him? Yeah, that was oh, that was on him. All right, yeah, I was so just confused about who lightweight frame was on. No, so it is two damage. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, range two. Oh, that's what you're doing. I was yeah. surprised that you'd made a bad yeah. decision. Range two uh, to there. Yep. Yeah. For one hit. One of eight dice. Number one. Okay. And then Pierce Sabak. At range three? Yeah. Should be. Yeah, range three. Yeah. <laughs> For one hit. Still no event. Yeah. I was going to crack shot it anyways. I'd rather have you spent it, you know? Yeah. I, I, w I think you would have too. <laughs> okay. Um, and that's it. Yep, no shots for my one. In fact, let's check. I think you're out. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Well, not as much as I wanted to do, but such is life. back here so you don't mix them up. Oh, Rhymer took a little bit more damage than I would have liked, but I'm pretty sure you would have liked him to be dead. Oh yeah, that's, so. that would have been much better. <laughs> uh, that's, tractor beam goes away. Yep. Overly panicking just yet. Just yet. Okay, I think I'm good. I might change one. That, that should be okay. That's fine. I'll not change it. Um, are you happy? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mind gamed me successfully. And I am going to change it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. So, <laughs> flappity flap flap. One bank, hard one. Yep. Oh, sorry. Yep, no worries. 
Um, do you want to do my hard one so I don't knock sure. any more of your stuff away? And an evade or a fo focus? Just focus, of course. Yeah. You're behind me. Well, it's Riot. So she's about to do a green K. Yeah. But, of course. But we'll still focus because you want to kill Rama. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy's going to flap forwards because I'm pretty sure. Then a hard one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, See, that's how much play I have in nubs. I just moved a good millimeter by cheating. Yeah. Well, if you're playing nubs, do you want to be here uh, uh, or uh, yeah. here? That is good. <laughs> this guy will also focus. Mm -hmm. Then all of your stuff. Yep. Ryan, 5k. The obvious one. Clear that, which I'll get it back right away for focus evade and target lock on that guy. Yeah. Uh, where's my target lock? Okay. Accessory. He's gonna do oh, sorry. one bank. Yeah, in range two. Get stressed. Do your snapshot. Oh, nothing. Okay, so one stress. Um, and Savak, what are you doing? Uh, what do I want you to do? This is the problem with adding interruptions to movement as <laughs> it slows yeah. down the game when people play them. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just I'll just reveal then. But you still have to do the flap. Oh you oh you do, that's Duchess that lets you. Yeah. That's right. And I could have snap because it's execute a maneuver. Yeah. I can snapshot the aileron. I know. Yeah. I've just I, I just knew this would be first. Yeah. I'm explaining for people who And snapshot snap snapshot so around. Around, yeah. So, yeah. I can't do it now. That's why I move Bessery first. Yeah. Uh yeah, we'll just sorry. I keep forgetting that's not optional other than Duchess. Yeah. That is her entire thing. Distress him. Okay. Yep. You have all my stress on the board. Yeah. Uh, and I think that was mine. I, I guess I'm done all my maneuvers yeah. anyways. So it doesn't matter if I look at yours. So Rama's really on a suicide run there. Yep. But we'll be able to double stress you, so that's fine. Yes, you will. He will focus, because that's his job almost completed. This is the important part of two his straight? job. Two straight? No. No. I was expecting two straight and barrel roll to try and get something in here, and then Ryad out the back. So I am going to rage whilst checking pilot stress at the end. Mm -hmm. So Inspire and Recruit will let me remove both of them. All right. Yep, so quick draw first. Three. Range three. Okay. Rage reroll. <laughs> Rage is, is it two dice or three dice? Three. Okay. That's right, because A-wings don't make focus. So I'll well. spend my focus. For a hit. Yay. <laughs> well, that was, <laughs> that was entirely worth it. Worth it. <laughs> Uh, I would have liked to have got more than yeah. five planks and one focus and result on light, six. And lightweight frame does it, that includes dice from range bonuses, right? Yeah, it's when you after you've rolled both sets of dice. Yeah, you then look at them before you either of us does any modification. Yeah. Okay, now Rhymer's shot be range two, so yep. I'll take a stress. I did not take out enough stress for this. I can do okay. some I, I got lots. <laughs> Hit and I will Focus. spend it to do Focus two. For I spent it. one damage through, which puts him down to three attack. Yeah. Measly, it, measly three attack. Rhymer is still dead. But. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we'll fire there. Range two, or sorry. Is that in? Nope. No, yeah, that's I think not I'm in. out there. Alright, uh. 
Yeah, let's just take the shot on Rhymer then. Yeah. So range two, three dice for two hits. Potentially dead. Crap Double shot. evade. Not dead. So he has one, one, remain, one hole remaining on Rhymer. Crack shot has been spent. You'll make me spend it. Okay, um, I'm going to track your beam this guy. Oh, but that's the debris cloud, so we'll still get to shoot. Yeah. Uh, so that's three hits. Oh that's, yeah, so no point rolling. <laughs> I'm going to go for the one shot. <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> You're not going to... Uh, do I want to tractor you in to range one? I could put you out to range three, to be fair. Uh, and if I boost you forward, be about there. Actually, I might... No, I won't arc dodge you if I boost you. Close, but I think I will still have you. Yeah. Unless you explode me. Eh, let's make it a fun game. <laughs> so I take a stress. Yeah. And roll for damage. And it's a hit, so no damage. Okay. Uh, so, is that a range one shot now? Do you want it it actually is not. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, uh, so, three dice primary. Um, so I am only on a one d- oh. Yep. <laughs> one evade, so only two crits. That is the unmarked one, so direct. And, and direct. Direct. Well, well done. <laughs> skill. The gamble, the gamble paid off. <laughs> Entirely <laughs> skill on that. Okay, um, so. And then Riot shot range one on um, what's his Best, name? Uh, Ry uh, Rhymer. Yes. Uh, for two hits. Need double evade. Didn't get it. One, two. That's rough. Double direct hit. Yeah, nice. that was very unlikely. <laughs> um, but it seems dice are winning me all my games at this point. So range three versus three. Spend my focus. Two hits. Two evades. Two evades, yep. Okay, right. well, that's half of a list down. Well, quick, quick draws at almost half your points. <laughs> How many do you have in there? 35. 35, so. Yeah, that's about half your list down. <laughs> Not good. Oh, this is hard. I yeah. think it's almost like killing half your ships puts you in a tough position. <laughs> almost. Yeah, I'm good whenever you are. Yep. So I will check what I'm doing. Good. Uh, I should have gone the other way. I should have gone the left a little bit. This is an overcommitment. Alright. Riot. We'll just do a two straight.
push for focus and a target lock on... Yeah, let's go for quick draw. Okay. Okay. Vessery will bump. Push. Yes, sorry. Stress. Back. Vessery will push. Or bump, sorry. Not push. Get that there. For no actions. And I'll clear one of my many, many stresses. All yours. I shall also bump. Should keep. Okay. Keep me. Um. Yeah. I think that keeps me out of arc. So. Um, range two shot. Yep, yeah, it's Sabak. Yeah. So I get my third dice for this one. Hit crit. Triple evades. Oh well. Okay, uh, Vessery has nothing, so Sabak, range two. For one crit. One, one evade. evade. Uh, Ryad, range one. Sorry. Oh, yeah, the target yeah. was there. Ryad, range one. Come for four on. hits. One of one evade. Evade. Three hits through. Uh, these are proxies. My shot. This, one, this one's crack shot. <laughs> shot at Sabak. Yep. Range two. For three. Three hits. That's a dead Sabak. Yeah. Three hits go through. Yes, you can't move anything here. Sorry. It's all in your sis space. You either need to go in the back room or... Um, you can set up, over, as long as you're not in the way of any of our shots. Yeah. Uh, um, okay. Sorry. Um, so yeah, three hits through on yeah, so the trainee. Yeah, so dead server. Um, Alright. Hmm, that's your die. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, I think I need to try that, and then... Uh, yeah, there's not too much you can do here unless you get a lot of really good hits off with with Rage Quick Draw, but... Oh, it's... Because, yeah, two full health defenders, even if one doesn't have X7, is still a lot. It's unfortunate. Uh, oh, it's fine. Yeah. I'm all good? Yep. Um, so let me double check the direction I picked. So I'll try this way. Complete. Then to sloop. Yep. To be massively predictable. But I actually did not plan at all for what he was going to do. <laughs> Didn't even consider it in the slightest. <laughs> Probably not a good idea, but 5k for Riad. He's actually going to. Huh. Did I barrel roll at some point? Yeah. That would be why then. I thought I hadn't. <laughs> I think so. Pretty just sure you did. Barely on the rock. No, because I think I just nudged it this way each oh, time. Oh, maybe. So that would also do it. But anyways, uh, clear stress, get a stress back. No damage. And I gain my evade. Alright, and two straight for Vessery. 
also probably very predictable. Yeah. And focus there. Okay, well, make or break time. Mm -hmm. I swam straight into you. Have a shot on Riot, though. Yep. Okay, that's range three. Oh, oh. Range two, I think. Oh, yeah, range two. One hit. Uh, spend the evade token. Yep. Okay. Uh, tractor beam onto the little guy. Which all three hit. Why not just five a primary? Because if you hit him, he was dead. Hmm? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I want to. Yeah. I want to make sure he dies. <laughs> so well, that would have been hit? more likely, though. Why? Oh, it's not. I suppose you don't have to spend the focus because you've got expertise. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I did that. Yeah. So, yeah. bump you forward. Maybe get out of your arc. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not going to be alive anyway. Okay. Range one primary. For three hits. Dead. And. Yeah. Takes two. And Ryad. Range two. Do I want to fire though? Yeah, might as well, I guess. Uh, for one hit. So you get your third dice for this. Yeah. So. Three evades. Start rolling of age now. Yeah. <laughs> the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. Mostly taketh away. But oh no, it's not been too bad to be honest. Just they haven't wind up as well as they could have. Yeah. Okay. All good? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be flipping this. Yeah, no problem. You're, are you supposed to declare before you put the maneuver tablet down, or uh, I can't remember. I think it, on her. it's probably. I think. I assume it's when you reveal, but uh, focus evade. There. Four K for Vessery. Yes. And a focus. Um, I think I will check pilot stress at the end and rage. Okay. So three dice primary out of the back at Raya. Did you baffle for one or? No, I so checked pilot stress at the end. Oh, that's how that works. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Range one uh, riad. Rage. Um. How do I want to play this? Yep. Because with two, it. with three, you're yeah, you're gonna make me strip at least one token. So then for the next attack, so, so. strip that for one damage. So then for the next attack, you'll have a better shot, uh, even if it is unmodified. Yep. Uh, so we will tractor beam. Ew. Uh, Reroll with Vestry's target lock that he acquires. Yep. For three hits. So tractor beam. Uh, I'll just leave you there. Uh, then arrange three shots. Yeah. So still three dice. Yeah. Vestry re-roll or target lock, sorry, for three hits. Uh, shouldn't have spent it. Two damage so. through. You get your shots off. Yep. On to Riad. Yep. Rage re-roll, three hits. Okay. 
uh, to go through. So that's a shieldless Ryad. I don't know. Yeah. So range one for Ryad. Yeah. Uh, spend the target lock and focus for three hits and a crit. Last shield and hit crit, stunned pilot. So it'll be a quick one at least. I think we can safely say that I die this round. Yeah, you're at one health. Yeah. And if you go over an obstacle, you die. Yep. Uh, not, not much you can do at all, if nothing. But the game has decided that that round I killed half your ships. Oh, so. it's fine. Okay. The it, double direct was hard to take. Yeah. Yeah, that was just that was just really unlucky. If you're touching something else, so focus, push for a target lock. And then you'll do a hard two that way. I could do a one forward to kill myself. That is also true. So, barrel roll. The only move that doesn't kill me. Sorry, I'm not nudged your ship. Yeah, no worries. I still think you have me in arc, so. Um. So I, I yeah, I, I would still have you, so. Yeah. I um, think it's range two out of the back now. Yes. So, one hit. She's yep. safe. So then, tractor beam to make sure that's Get your three roll up. for three, so that's a hit. Then no, not five. necessarily. You're de oh yeah, you're not tracking beam yet. That's a hit. Okay, range one. Good game. <laughs> yep, cheers on. Oh, there we go. I'll throw all my crap out of the way and uh, get somebody else on. And that's the power oh. of uh, double direct. Um, oh no, really. health ships. Um, I think I should have gone quicker with Rhymer and quick draw at the start because they were staggered. So you got to shoot stuff at me. Yeah. And I still I got to shoot at you. And I still had enough range to not be in range two for at least one round, so Yeah. Um, so I think hugging the side over here was Cagey, but I should have, I could have done it differently, I think. Yeah. Um, well, you forced me to go inwards, which yeah. was your plan. It's just then everything died as soon as they started turning. Yeah. So. Oh, it's fine. I, how much are the, the 17 one points. 17? I, I haven't flown them enough to know how useful the adaptive ailerons are, but um, that, I, I don't, I don't think that they're worth it for how fast they die. I think they're really good. All right. How fast did I hear when I didn't roll any yeah, evades with any of them? That is also a fact. Um, and then you were tracked to beam in them. So yes. um, they don't normally go down that quickly. Like the first one, if he lives with one health, that's an extra shot you have to put in him, which means your one doesn't die. Yeah. So the double direct. That was, screwed you <laughs> pretty yeah. badly. Because um, Rhymer is going to die no matter what. Yeah. But you got to kill two ships instead of just one, which meant that he also didn't get to fire at you. Yes. So that would have been... So that would have been at le probably at least two damage into Vessary, or... It would have been... Yeah, I, I, didn't, I, didn't have any, I didn't have any mods that turn, so... No. Yeah, that would have been pretty bad. Um, and then I... My opening salvo was a lot less effective than yours. Yeah. With all of my... I did zero damage. Yeah. Because I didn't roll... I rolled one focus, I think. Yeah. And... 
yeah, so you got you got screwed pretty bad on that. Oh, <laughs> again, it, I would, wouldn't say I have a dice screw me. I could have played to actually position better. Yeah. So that to give the dice less chance. That and but also Pierre Sabek basically being countdown and only taking one damage per turn until yeah. he died. But yeah. Um, let's find so, out. I can't remember who's supposed to be on game two, so I'll check. I feel like it's Clay. He's here nice and early. Yeah, oh, sorry, it was Clay and Steve, wasn't it? Okay, okay I'll go and grab them. Alright. So Thank you, you for can having talk about stream? how you oh, call no. Savak dead once I get people ready. Yeah, and how I did not have a crushing defeat to Major Rhymer, which <laughs> would have been far, far worse than flying any list terribly. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Sabak, I'm, I was really excited about just because it's a really, it's a really cheap glass cannon, um, and having, th like, that four dice attack is, re is very powerful, but you need to pair it with something that is a better target than it, so I felt I did a decent job with Vessery coming in from the side, but, yeah, Sabak ultimately took the hits, and... Did enough, did enough damage, I would say, to make it worth it, and that, that and killing off one of the pad skill one strikers right off the bat definitely helped out, because I was actually pretty worried with Chris barrel, barreling in at me right at the start. But I guess it turned out alright. Okay. So, So there we go, you got to see me get crushed on stream. Major Rama did not pull it out for me, unfortunately. Um, that was uh, pretty good fun, actually. Um, Tidy took me by surprise a little bit. Should have been more cautious about the approach, but hey ho, uh, what are you going to do? And find the mouse so that I can actually start entering stuff in. So we have um, Ian this time. Against Steve. Oh, sorry about this, guys. Uh, it's just me, so I'm uh, doing my best to keep up to speed on everything. Um, what do you? Is that, I need one of the lists first. If, uh, whoever's first. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> So, Steve's going to be playing Rebels. So we have a Cassian. Good day, Audio Weasel. Yeah, so we've got Cash and Andor with Kanan. Sabine. With an enhanced scope. Prox Mines. Engine and pivot wing. Electronic baffles one point, the tractor beam was thrown on because I had no 
Okay. Oh dear. How are we doing? Um, then Ray. Fifty-seven point Ray with expertise. Bistan and Falcon title. Sorry, it's a swoop title. We want just getting the stats put in, then we're really good to go. So raise pilot skill eight, three attacks, one agility, eight hole and five shields. Okay, so then I just need a list from Ian. Oh, well that screws everything. <laughs> Echo's still... Why we couldn't find that. Right on so apparently, um, I know, uh, my list just went to shit. Ah, uh, it's Echo's not bad. <laughs> I thought Echo Echo before it existed, and she was good then, so well, she'll no, be good it's, now. It's this red back bit that says, whenever you pass it, even if the effect is not from a maneuver, you yeah. suffer the... But what I, what I mean, Ian, is uh, I used to fly Echo before she could even go over it, yeah. and she was good. So the fact that she can now go over it but suffer the stress. I used to fly Echo with advanced sensors and PTL, and then I would basically drift around asteroids and oh, yeah, then do my new <laughs> Mind your hands on the camera. <laughs> so it's alright. You can't afford to recklessly just go over the asteroids either, because that's damaged. That is the other half. The only thing is, it won't cost me. So pure Sabak for Ian. It won't cost me my action as long as you're What? What upgrades does Sabak have? Uh, Sabak's got adaptive, light weight, and outmaneuver. Echo is still very good. It's just easy to do. I've got them here just so I could see. Outmaneuver, so that is a 28 point, uh, 27 points then? Uh, well, I got 5 points of upgrades. Yep. Yep, 27 point pure Sabak. Bit interesting, outmaneuver there. Um, Ant's cloaking device, uh, collision detector. Advanced cloaking device, collision detector. Okay, so that's four. And an Omicron group. So you've got Palpatine. That's an interesting take on a pop shuttle. 21, 22, 30, 4, 5. There you go, Ian. Just let me double check my maths. That one was correct. Should be nice. That's correct. And. Yeah, I got all of my maths correct for a change. So I'll throw it over whilst I just finish doing the last round of stats. So 
so I was six. There's still, it's still four. 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 You know what? I have the points. I would have to strip everything off for everyone to. 24. Must be the most exciting well, part of any show we've ever done. I would have to strip off like five points there, another three off here, and then I'd be at 100, no initiative, no perks, and I'd get it my way. And uh, the shuttle. So one thing that I might have done differently right away in Ian's list is I'd have been tempted to go Fofflechet Cannon over um, There we go. Yeah, I mean, I do have the point, and, and Echo is really lacking that. Well, no, the reason is Echo's got Echo's not going to be able to do that. Yeah, it should be pretty close now. Because, like, I, I looked at positions that were being based on where I'd be low. Oh, it's and great. And if I could just see where it is, and it's way more knowledgeable than that. Okay, there we go. For Intel Agents, it's Intel Agents is great on Echo. So... Oh, I need to change the names. Apparently I didn't do that. So Steve was firing Rebels. And Ian is flying Empire. There we go. Okay. So where are we at? See, oh. I missed in the chat. Not too much, I hope. Yeah. I'll reset the clock as well. Oh, it's not it's gone away. Okay. So, this Cassian is pretty close to what I think about running for a bombing Cassian. Um, I do like the idea of switching out, um, in this case it would be Kanan, like swapping Kanan for a bombardier and then you can take extra munitions on Cassian as well with the torpedo slot. And that lets you um, do your zeros, drop bombs around, um, and just gives you a bit of fun. Um, Ray I really like actually, I definitely consider swapping engine over onto Ray just so she has that boost option. With expertise, Finn and her inbuilt ability, she can take good advantage of the engine upgrade in this case. Um, I would be tempted by, if you want to definitely keep Kanan on Cassian for whatever reason, uh, I'd be looking at maybe a 3PO or someone to help my survivability, but this sounds good, uh, helps you push crits through, which could be important against uh, pure Sabbat. For Ian's list, um, it's just a fun one to fly, I think. Uh, having um, Echo is one of my favourite ships to fly anyway. Uh, let's just switch this around a little bit. There we go. Shorten out manure. Try and make it not too obtrusive. 
Uh, so I suppose we need beam, in tractor beam. This is all of the stuff I normally do whilst Greg and Calvin are talking. So you get to hear me chat to myself whilst trying to sort up the shot. Start the timer after they've deployed the rocks. Oh. Ian's 98 point bid has paid off. He's got to take the initiative, which will help him immensely against Cassian's damage. Oh. We'll see how good Steve. We'll see how good Steve is at positioning Ray, so he can get those awesomely modified shots. So there's a couple of different ways of approaching playing Echo. Um, personally, I'm a fan of having um, and playing with her. I want quite a clustered field, so I'm confident enough that I can maneuver around it. A good strategy playing against Echo is that you can try and form a circle of rocks, because at some point, if she ever tries to come into the middle of the table, it makes it quite difficult for her to have all of those options open to her on the decloak. Oh, the Omicron group pilot with tractor beam I imagine is just going to never really fire a tractor beam, I don't know. Like, when you can get a really good position from it, force someone over rocks maybe, but I think I might have considered push at cannon, or no cannon at all. One of those rare instances where Fushet can can be good. I don't know why it keeps turning on autofocus on the main camera guy. Sorry about that, I hope it wasn't too distracting during the last game. As I said, I didn't get to monitor the last game at all, so I have no idea what was going on. Hopefully I'll be able to redeem myself and play another game later. Hey, if you watch if you watch the last game back, you definitely see that um, Aaron definitely flew much, much better than me. Rather than me getting the blocks I wanted on him, he managed to block my quick draw quite a lot. His quick draw shots were almost always unmodified after that initial engagement. So, not too salty about losing that game. Aaron's one of those players who often beats me anyway. We have a good back and forth in our record, so I don't mind too much losing to double defenders when I had uh, that list on the table. I thought it would do better, maybe I should have concentrated Major Rhymer onto uh, Vessery to try and shut him down, but live and learn. I'd like to try and match up again on another day maybe. So we have both players ready, once deployment starts we will uh, start the timer. So we're just doing 60 minute rounds for today, try and get more games in. Uh, at our current rate we might get the fourth game in, it depends if they all go quick or not. I tried to lose relatively quickly. Um, as long as I know how it's deployed, I'll know what you're doing, but if you want to flip the wings, that would be awesome. Alright, I'll do it, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, landing is wings forwards, attack is wings back. That's Aaron weaving, so thanks for kicking my ass, Aaron. It was um, awfully good fun. 
so glad I got to get me take that one rather than Greg take for showing he was going to get. So Ian, what prompted the tractor beam on the shuttle? What prompted the choice of tractor beam on the shuttle? I was, I was saying on the stream uh, I would have considered maybe a Fushet cannon so it's only a one point bid but yeah, but could as soon as you go up to 99 you might not get your initiative yeah bid. that's true is usually pretty safe um, so that's honestly the tractor beam is there because I, I think the tractor beam is better for me because the only reason I'm using it is if there is a target at range it increases my odds of it hits and it's only if I can throw them on a rock for two turns yeah so there we go, that was just Ian confirming the thoughts that the tractor beam was very much a, a final add-in. Um, didn't really serve any purpose other than every couple of games you get that position where you can take a range 3 tractor beam shot and put someone on the rock, so that's, that's fine. I've, I feel like the night is a, pardon me. A 97 point bid isn't always worth it, as Ian says, so no problem, sir. Okay, so another snapshot in the game as well. So Cassian with snapshot this time. Again, no point uh, worrying too much about snapshot in my opinion. But I do like it on a large base ship just because you um, get that extra area to cover. But I definitely like it on Rhymer, but it's a shame that the platform is so inefficient to start off with. And it looks like the players are ready, so we will start the timer. So you know what? I haven't seen anyone flipping yet. It's like everyone's been too busy keeping their two So we have Steve up in the top left hand corner. Um, Cassian on the outside, Ray on the inside. It's going to be pretty special flying to get back into a fight with the way that the rocks are lined up. Ian's done a pretty good job there. Pure Sabak, I would imagine, is going to ailerons into the middle of the table and then shoot through those rocks and we'll take up some really good positions from here. Um, shuttle is probably going to I think Ian might have mispositioned the shuttle here. I'm not, it's not where I would have put it personally, but we'll see what he does with it. And then Echo is going to spend a few turns just getting position and stuff like that. Hmm. Oh, both dials are set. I'm going to see if Steve could pass me my water bottle because I uh, left it on the table because I'm an idiot. Thank you. He didn't need me to do more than hint. Yeah, yep. So weird slurpy sounds will be me drinking from my water bottle. I don't have anyone to hand over to. Yep, so it's the move I expected from Pure Sabak. Flap around the shuttle. Uh, the shuttle does the zero. Um, I'd be tempted by a barrel roll out of the table uh, so that the shuttle can... Yeah, uh, so we missed Cassian's enhanced score. Interesting positioning. Uh, 
So it's an aggressive barrel roll from Ian. I don't know that I would have gone that way this early, but we'll see. It should be a cloak action for Echo. Yep. So from positioning here, I would be expecting Ian to play this relatively aggressive. Much more aggressive than I would have expected from the deployment anyway. There's no danger from that barrel roll this turn, but I just feel like you run the risk because the strikers end up moving so quickly, having to use the adaptive ailerons, um, you run the risk of hitting one too soon. Um, pretty much kind of like how I approached in the last game. I so said I, I didn't quite go quick enough with Riyad and the Special Forces tie to keep pace with the position and have all my arcs covering the positions I needed, which let him just um, engage me in uh, not the most ideal circumstances for me, and that just put free damage onto Riyad, which uh, sorry, onto Rima, which ended up being costly. So more, even more than that double direct hit coming through, I think that was uh, the most costly part, gifting Aaron free damage onto Major Rima. And back to setting dials now. Let's see. I'd expect Cassian and Ray to be starting to turn into a table now. But this could be tricky. Oh, what I'm going to do just to we'll go. So we're currently in attack mode. Yeah, I either expected Ian to do this decloak or the um, forwards left bank, mm -hmm. which takes up similar positions. This way he's likely doing a forwards move. The other way he would have been doing the hard turn to take up a similar position to what he'll end up in. Still in attack position. Shuttle moves one forwards, clearing its stress. Yeah, 
So, Ian Bottles dialing in the three straight. Oh, he's going to need to try and barrel roll around this rock now. But could mean a little bit of hurt coming in from Ray, because Ray should be able to make, take a position to have a shot here. Yeah, so that's relatively similar position to had he done the turn and then the sort of bank forwards left and then he had two and had one. That's an interesting deco uh, court. It's, it looks like he's going to have to either go right in front of that asteroid or come back around. Hmm. I expected a slight turn in now. Oh. So there's a target walk from Ray. <laughs> Having expertise is going to mean that it's pretty consistent shot now. Because you barrel rolled in. If you'd done the three bank, you'd have been out of range. It'll be three dice against three dice. Uh, do you want to roll in the dice tray? Yeah, just it's okay we uh, have the dice straight on for this game because why not so three hits yep that's right so expertise makes that three hits expertise doing work today what got you oh palpatine Palpatine gets the uh, three. Yeah. Should have taken for Shaq, Cannon Ian. Oh, because it's when he's not stressed? Yeah. Oh. I mean, there had to be some passion. Yeah. It's four points as well for expertise, so they're really expensive, but. Definitely one of the better ways to use it is on Ray with Finn. Back to the planning phase, so I'll try not to talk too loud and uh, give all of Ian's cunning plans away. But I'd expect him to keep swinging these guys around now. Uh, pure Savak is probably going to do the one bank right for the ailerons and then the hard one turn just to be pointing in the right direction. Echo's decorp is pretty hard for me in positioning. I think that he'll be able to go forwards and right. I don't think forwards and left would fit. There's no right options there, I don't believe. And all of his left options are kind of open. I'm expecting Echo to decorp left and back. Then the shuttle is just going to pull a zero again, I'd imagine. But yeah, I think a zero here feels pretty nice for shuttle. You could go the one forwards and get ready to turn into them next turn.
I believe it will need to be dodging wrenches, not rocks. So again, I'll uh, apologise for a second time for tonight that um, Calvin being sick and another guy falling in sick for forcing Greg to have to actually work an extended shift in the store. It is just me on my own today. I'll do the best I can to keep you entertained with the commentary, but it's hard to have a back and forth of just myself, so feel free to ask questions in the Twitch chat as well, give me stuff to respond to. That's a good turn in by Cassian now, starts to get a nice open run through. Um, getting to go before the shuttle is good, because he, if Ian gets too aggressive trying to block, he'll end up with snapshots. Oh, and that is a snapshot opportunity, I believe. It would be close. Oh, see if he's in range one. And that was a focus result, so no damage from the debris. But distressing. Um, Ian, he needs to get a chance to check for his snapshot from Cassian. It is range one, isn't it? It looks like it on here. So you can't modify them anyway, even if you had focus. So. Yeah, so this is the one I expected, and the hard one. Yep. Yeah. Exactly the move we were expecting from Samak. It's all one good knowing where he's going to be. Doing something about it is the uh, important thing. Takes a focus. So, is Steve going to be a good guy and let him take his decloak action? So, yeah. You can, it's fine. If, if your opponent's... Well, you need to move him back to make sure it doesn't block. Just because it was, from my angle, that one was pretty close. Oh no, you should be clear. <laughs> yep. So Ian does get the positioning he wants, so. So now we get to see if Ray is turning in or not. I'd fully expect her to be doing the hard one here. Oh no. We'll definitely take him by surprise. I don't think he would have expected that move. So, considering that Ray would have an action, sorry, no actions, he will be getting a four dice, well, a three dice, adding a blank, re-rolling and converting. So, really nice move uh, from Steve. So I was going to see if he can burn down the Palpatine first. Okay, so he's checking what shots he's got. So is Ray not? Does Ray not get to shoot first? Oh, sorry, yeah. He had VI. That's correct. I'm just bad at the game. I wrote the West down wrong, gentlemen. 
Yeah. Okay, so two of heads there, which helps somewhat. Two shields dying off Ray. So adding in the blank, re-roll the blank. Yeah, so, right, with expertise, you can actually change them on every roll because it does all of the focuses. Yeah, so three hits in a crit because of uh, expertise and Bistan. Crit shouldn't matter, just three shields gone. Pure Savak will be shooting range three. I think it's through a rock. <laughs> so range four dice shot with four hits. So, so it was an eyeball. But there was definitely some symbol on it, so... And... Um, unfortunately, um, expertise doesn't work on defence. So that is the last three shields gone from Ray. Is that one shield left on a shuttle? He's gone now. Zero shields on a shuttle. Yep. Yeah. So that gives Steve half points for the shuttle. Hit, hit, crit from the shuttle. How did you get the focus? Did you not land on the... I, that's why I'm down to no shield. Oh, you baffled? Okay. No, it gets to add in a blank and then re-roll. You get to re-roll both the blanks, remember? Still nothing. So, that will be... A, a it's fine, don't need to put it, just tell me what it is. Sun pilot, so any bumps now is going to really, really hurt. And that gives Ian half points for a falcon. So I think Steve's fallen into a definite trap here of um, going for the shuttle first. I mean, 
is going to really, really struggle to manoeuvre his way out from this positioning. Shuttle's likely to not move, either through Cassian bumping into it and stopping it, or Ian just playing doing a zero. So, if I was Ray, I would be looking to completely break off from this engagement. Really need to maybe do the two hard left, something like that. Sorry, Ian. Because of the way the screen's positioned, I've got his stuff in the middle. So I see all of his upgrades. Yours is to the side. So Ian just pointed out that he would have been. In fact, no, I think I you got. I forgot it about it for the last four matches. And I don't think he rolled any evades with Ray. Because I have four hits. And. Yeah, I, I, it's not rolled. In this turn, I don't think he rolled any evades with Ray. I don't think he did. Well, I only took off five shields, so he definitely rolled. No, but, first no one you, two you know that his take is down to five hole now. So you've done. You know what? No, he rolled two evades on Whisper, or sorry, on Echo, I think. Yeah. I don't think it was relevant, but. I, I don't think it was. No, but, it, it serves me right. I've played this list four times and forgot it for the first attack or two ever the game. So that's why normally every time I dial in a green move with my click draw, I always rage and clear a stress with baffle just to remind myself that I have it. So not baffle. Um, oh, what's it called? The one that lets you check at the end. Pattern analyzer. I've forgotten how tiring it is trying to commentate on your own. So this isn't doesn't feel very entertaining to me guys. Sorry I'm not more chipper. So originally we had scheduled Clay to play against Steve and I was gonna play against Ian. But with the uh, mess up to the schedule, we've had to shuffle things around. So Steve's one of our newer players in the area. And obviously Ian is our reigning Sentry Box player of the year. <laughs> the player of the year title comes with that nice little, uh, well, not even little, that nice considerably sized dice and uh, maneuver template holder you can see just in the top right underneath Ian's score. So that's his prize. I, don't, I thought it should be handed back at the end of each year and uh, let someone else play for it, but had we seen fair. Oh. Just one more dial to go down. So. I remembered I can actually get it up front. Super cool. So, Savax options are now limited because of Echo's positioning, but nothing too crippling.
Uh, I'm in talks with Aaron at the moment to try and do some fun stuff at the Steely Open with him. So that'll be interesting. I'm in talks with Paul LaRue to hopefully be able to announce a nice shiny card at the Steely Open. So if you haven't booked already, make sure you start looking into the Steely Open, guys. Uh, 2017, um, April 7th, uh, weekend of April 7th, I believe it is. Yeah, make sure you look into that. I'm hoping to be there uh, with some recording equipment and um, some cool prizes. We'll maybe have to actually get that beer audio weasel. Uh, we'll play some X-Wing. I'll play you with my rhyme list. So we have Cassian deciding whether he's going to bomb things and the prox mine comes out. So it doesn't look like that hit. So when Ian feels a red stop now and Ray hits her own fox mine. So do you land on the um, rock as well? Oh, yeah, I guess that stops me here, so I, so I would take... You'd take two stress. So you'd have to baffle twice. Because you finish a manoeuvre on the asteroid, on the debris quad, which would give you a stress. Yeah, so... Not if he hits it himself. Yeah, he's gonna come out. So is that two damage? Yeah. I am so <laughs> baffle <laughs> deals two more damage to a shuttle. You know you could have just flown over it and palpatined away the hit that you roll because you roll the dice for the mine. Well, I mean, I, the thing is, yeah, well, I had already set the one stop. <laughs> And you need to roll a die to see if you take damage from the debris. <laughs> it is a focus result, so no damage. Okay, so that is a shuttle down to three. That is true, Sabine would still force some damage through. Yeah, so that's the move I expected from Pure Sabak. It's nice and aggressive, make sure he can get in onto Ray's Y with positioning. Temptation would be to barrel roll right for uh, guaranteed shooting, but it's most likely that just that positioning will cover it. Okay, how'd you get a three ship list with... Okay, so it's got to be smuggling compartment to get you the illicit for black market slicer tools. So it's a rebel list. Okay, 
I almost committed to a stupid statement there, Audio Weasel. Well done. It wouldn't be the first time, but at least I avoided the trap. And no, I'm not saying it. Right. So Ian does decide to do a barrel roll. So that should guarantee him a shot at Ray now. So he does avoid landing on stuff. So Ray really needs to uh, do some work. So the question you've got to ask yourself now is, do you actually bother shooting the shuttle or do you rely on the fact that he has to move over that bomb to do some damage? So, um, Cassian, if he was stressed at the start of a round, Cassian removes it, so it is unstressed. Then, as long as he's still within range one or two, Kanan can remove the stress from the whip. So, no, did he, did he start with this turn stressed? No, no, but he was that? stressing himself to turn around. Yeah, so Kanan can remove that stress. Can Kanan do that twice per round? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. And he gets the second from landing on the three. Right, yeah. Okay, sorry. I understand now. No damage. So I think I'd be looking to either ping some dice at pure Sabak. Yeah. No, no. if you It looks like he's in the arc of a shuttle. So if you're in the Arco Shuttle, you have to kill it, because you can't afford to take extra damage back. Oh, then again, you want the Shuttle to be alive, to remove... So, two hits and a blank. So, add in a blank. Yep. So, hit, hit, crit. Oh dear. So that is potentially a dead pure Sabak. We'll see what the crit is. Unless Ian decides to palpatine it. So hit crit. The important thing for Steve is that obviously he does manage to turn off Sabak's ability now. Which doesn't matter. 
better because they're warming up. So a really good turn so far for Steve. Um, is the shuttle in arc? Is Ray out of arc? I can't tell from this angle. So. Okay, so that is. So Ray took a damage from landing on the debris. So two damage into Cassian. No modifiers to his defense die, so he needs some work here. And gets none. If you have to excuse me, guys, I need to run to a washroom. I have no one to leave in command. So we'll have a bit of silence whilst we. Um, go to dials So I'm back, sorry for the interruption, but let's get to it. Dial will still be in play, so I haven't missed too much action. I have the Rebel list we'll be featuring next game. Interesting casting for next game. We have Rage. Raging Cassian with Cushion Detector. Janos. Pivot Wing. Inspiring Recruit and Rage. Thank you. 
and Paul goes PS9. Raging Paul. Raging Paul, that will be interesting. Uh, we have, have a raging poll next game with Okay. Looks like all the dials are set. So we'll uh, look at those shortly. Where are they? Come on guys. No decloak because Whisper wasn't cloaked. Hand scopes. So this would be the turn that I would go to the um, landing mode because at least then you'll get to spin around next turn. Takes the damage from the rock, but yeah. I think this is the time you take to turn round. Yeah, and he is doing so. Definitely the turn to do it when you should be safe from everybody else. Did you damage yourself on the rock? Yeah. yeah. So Ian all stops to sit there, um, swings around with the tie striker and gets Echo into a nice aggressive position which should all equal a dead ray. So this move is likely to land him on his own proximity mine and bump, which can potentially kill him. So embarrassment levels will be high. What pilot skill is Ezra Bridger? Come on Twitch chat, you can save me. So let's see how much damage he takes from his own bomb. Just the one. So two damage total. Uh, so Sabine does get to apply the damage. Uh, 
either of these. So Sabak takes it. So that is Sabak down to one hole remaining. Uh, yeah, as we're just discussing, uh, Sabine still gets to apply but I mean, the damage. So... So Ian trying to work out whether he needs to Palpatine this. I can tell him now that he does have to palp to guarantee the kill. Hi Clay. Hello. I will uh, hand you a mic and you can finish talking about this game with me. Okay, so Clay is going to be on the table next. And there we go, so just a crit. That's like, that's like 50 50. Mm. Right, right. Oh no, we're gonna, he's gonna re roll it just because it was slightly caught. Okay, so he does die. So there you go, bad guy Ian, you know. So is that not, is that not her dead anyway? Oh no, I, I somebody. Forgot get, I forgot she was getting a blank and a reroll. Did you not have three hits? I thought she only had. Because she bumps as well. Uh -huh. So she'll take a damage from the collision. One from the mine. I already took one from the. He had and five. And the mine. Took okay, I thought I must have tracked it wrong somewhere. I think I took one when I bumped you. That should have put you at five. Or sorry, no. No, that put you at five. Oh, the four. mine put you at six, and then you still took two. Yeah, I'm still working out the... <coughs> I'm working the last time I... I'm going to eat my Mars bar while he's working on figuring it out. It's fine. I'm relatively certain she's dead. She dies anyway. But she does get a shoot, so I'll that Yeah. Uh, well, you get a shoot at three of her. So, it's not going oh, awfully well. Expertise on Ray is really nice, but I feel like 3PO would have been a better choice over Bistan. I think almost anything would have been a better choice over Bistan. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not a fan of that card. I like it in... St well, sorry. I would like it if you could take it on a party bus with, um, oh. <laughs> with um, Mercenary as well. <laughs> But not at two points. I think he's a little bit expensive at two points. You could spend the money or spend the points and take it on a boss party bus. <laughs> so Quay is playing the, the raging Paul. So do you want to talk about your list? Uh, my list is. And what um, what pilot skill is Ezra? Just because I couldn't remember. I think Ezra's a four. Four. That would make sense. So it's uh, Andor in the U wing, Poe, uh, PS9 Poe, and Ezra in the shuttle, and they're all running Rage. Um, Andor has the inspiring recruit and Jan Ors. Ezra has an inspiring recruit, twin laser. And Poe has the usual R5 P9 pattern analyzer and auto thrusters. So basically, they could all rage, they can all do green ones, and they could all rage again the next turn. <laughs> yeah, uh, for hilarious fun. Um, although I just played Liam with it, and he was running the Braylon stress bot. Oh, so that's the one that beat me. Ezra yesterday. had yeah. four stress in the first turn. <laughs> Yeah. So I could have cleared all four of those stress, but that would leave the other two guys pretty stressed up. So it was uh, yeah, it was an interesting choice to have to make. It was, uh, it's a fun list, I thought. It's, 
as long as you remember that you don't have to rage, that's how I find exactly using rage that. most yeah, efficiently, is that sometimes just take the focus. Yep. Such as in arc or range one of Eden Real, don't rage, just take the focus. <laughs> So I don't think there's many choices for Steve here. He's gone into winding mode. I'm fully expecting him to spin around. Um, it's What's he got? Oh, Proxmine's. The Proxmine is gone. He oh, okay. uh, dropped it and then ran over it with Ray by accident. <laughs> uh, Ian did pull an all stop, but took two damage to not run over it and then took the two stress in this round. So it did inadvertently caused two damage and Ray only suffered one but I feel like he would have been better served to run it over well I feel like because Ray's positioning was that she did return to swoop I would have not swoop, not spun round mm. just taken the rear arc shot and then you can continue running away and that lets you get the U-wing behind the people chasing you if you uh, I find with Ray if you force it, well, like any ship, if you force the ability, you're going to get caught a lot of times. Yeah. But I forgot what I was in the middle of doing. That was it. I was going to add in the points for Ray. But yeah. Yeah. You'd be happy to know that I'll be playing our best my best in our game because I'm uh, tired and I've got a headache from watching too many monitors and trying to do too much. So I'm getting the excuses in early for when All you right. beat me. I'm, I'm fine with that. I suppose there is a slight chance that Greg might be ready to come upstairs but uh, equally he might have left and gone home already. Well he was just down there but he doesn't look too shit hot either so. No he's not feeling well. Uh, and also he started, he'll, he'll have done the full, I think, 11 hour day. And he does the turn. Yeah. No surprise. Uh, the surprise that I found there was Ian using the Intel agent. Well, he wants to say that he's used it at least once in this game. <laughs> I, I've given up on Intel agent because I never remember. Um, I was running Intel Agent when I was using um, Echo, and it's really strong. I suppose it really helps picking it. which which way you're doing the arcs and stuff. Mm. Uh, it's range one for snapshot. So I think is the, snapshot, is the snapshot paid off at all, or it got it once, but. I don't think enhanced scopes and snapshot is the best. I, again, I don't mind my snapshotting person moving afterwards, but I don't know. It's a lot of it's a lot of points on that end, or yeah, mine came in at thirty nine points. I feel like the Andor I was going to run is more aggressive. Mine's 31. Uh, mine is a support I, for Ray, so I, I, have, I have 39 points ah, to spend. Gotcha. I have a 61 point Ray. Expertise? No, she is or push limit. Push limit. I may yeah. switch to expertise now that I'm thinking about it's, the synergies of the list. I think expertise would be awesome on her. Oh, definitely. Like, it's just, then you've got, what does that leave you with, 39, 38 points to play the with? The problem I have with putting expertise on is that it makes you not feel like you need the focus, and it does nothing on defense. So she, I feel like she goes down a little bit quicker. <laughs> just because there's, there'll be times when you're not in arc. That is a sick load yeah. of things. Can you roll a single of eight? I can't. 
There it is. Uh, that isn't the Rhymer build I'll be using, but it is a Rhymer build. Oh, I should be watching the chat. Uh, yeah, Audio Weasel, it's it's Raging Poe. I actually named it Rogue Rage, but I do like the uh, Angry, Angry Rebels too. So, uh, it, given that Ian completely can't roll an evade, he's not had to Palpatine on defense on his <laughs> shuttle yet. He's rolled a natural evade every time he's been shot. I can't ask for anything more than that with a palp shuttle, I guess. I think the mistake Steve made here is that he tried to go for the uh, shuttle first, which let Pure Savak get his ability to trigger a couple of yeah. shots, and um, it just gets difficult once you've taken that much damage. I've so, always felt, through my personal experiences, that the shuttle is a trap. Yeah. If you can get it, that's fine, but you don't want to compromise yourself going in to get it, and that's usually what the pout player wants anyway. Yeah, so. in, uh, handing in positioning for Savak and um, Whisper. Um, I don't know about that. I've Oh no, in fact, it won't get an action. So that's time. So that'll be a victory for Ian. That's 78 points to 18. And we'll... Uh, kick them off the table so we can get a fresh game. <laughs> um, it's not going to change the outcome of the game. <laughs> uh, if you if you want to... I don't want to wipe So... I'll let you jump onto the side that Steve sure. will be on. And I'll get the thing updated. Um, if you want to... You should be able to just about reach if we untangle this a little bit. I'll uh, I'll just turn it yeah. off and move. And then yeah. Okay, so who wants to play what? We're both around for games. Um, I was going to play Quay or um, I don't mind. Is this Greg ready to play some X-wing? Yeah, Are you here? Or are you not here? You want to play? You can play Clay. I'll need it. That is perfect timing. So, unfortunately, guys, you won't get to see me embarrass myself with um, Rhymer again. So, Clay is running a Rebel list if you have an Imperial one. That's fine, not a problem. Um, if you, Ian, if you want to hang around, if this is quick, we'll play another game, but it's up to you. You can jump on and commentate with me if you like. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the other list ready. I was gonna fly yeah. it, but I was like, when you go, we're ready to go. I'm like, yeah, it'll take me 10 minutes to find other parts. No problem. So, um, if you want to prep the list and then jump on, and we'll do, you can just commentate later. So, so Koi running Rebels. And Greg Jackson running Rebels. You escaped to drubbing off Aaron. Oh, yeah. he, uh, he smashed me. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So I'm going to throw it over to a desk so you get to see my pretty, pretty face whilst I um, talk about this. Okay, so. <sighs> Fun times. Uh, so, I think there's potential of expertise on Ray, but that one didn't demonstrate to the best. So. 
Yeah, I did mention that on the stream that uh, Steve is pretty new to a game as well. So playing against the Sentry Box player of the year uh, was uh, a, oh, that was wrong. I can't even think and talk so bad. Okay, so I'm going to throw it over to a table and get these lists entered in. Because there's no need to watch me stumbling around. I can't really talk about anything. So, sorry guys. Oh, I can delete that one and that one, that should be fine. So there you can see Quay's list and I'll get Greg's entered in now. So some rebel on rebel action. Oh yes, Greg is my hero. Great shot, Jansen. I might, I might call him Greg Jansen. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. I have that down already. Thirty-one point West Jansen, the usual adaptability BB8 integrated Aston Mac. Um, it's up to you. I, if you want to play again, that's fine. Yeah. Um, all I'll say again is, if this one's really quick, I might yank one of you off to play again. Oh. So I don't have any help on the commentary desk. So it's still just me again. But it's a lot easier to insult Greg because he's terrible at the game. So. The Blue Squadron Pathfinder this time, folks. A Ewing that is not Cassian. It's exciting to see. I'm assuming there's a Sabine missing from this one. I don't mind if you if you want to cheat. That's fine. So yeah, it's fine. So I'm I'm glad you did this. I'm sure I talked about it earlier on the fact that you can put Bombardier and Sabine on the Pathfinder. Is that the way that? Yeah, that's the way that works, right? That is true. Jansen cannot steal. Uh, oh, and we have a Cassian. Yeah, so Greg is at exactly 100 points. Oh, yeah. Another snapshot. Ah, let's see, I see. So, the po I see what Greg's thinking is here. You want to take that for Greg, thank you. Um, snapshot 
and fire control system to just try and give you that extra little bit of efficiency. So I'm not even going to ask, I'm just going to put PS9 down for Jansen. If he wants to go down, he can, but he's wrong. Two. And I almost finished talking to myself. Two. And as I say, guys, you get to enjoy the full experience that the guys on the desk normally get subjected to. Me talking to myself while saying to a list. Okay, we're going to shorten this. Advanced sensors, there we go. That should fit better. Okay, gentlemen, so... I'll start the timer after deployment because it's only a 60 minute round so I don't want to rush you too much. Would you like some table talk banter to be on the uh, thing as well or do you just want me to commentate your silent game? Are, are you still too ill to have banter Greg? Yeah. I'll add in an extra feed and just pull it from the mic since the music's gone off now. I just need to set the levels on this one. So again, I can't do a sound test, test now guys, so you have to let me know if that is too much background noise. But we have the table mic on now. Oh. I say if the background noise gets too much guys let me know and I can adjust the levels but I have to do it all live. So a slightly more clustered field than I would have expected. Um, I suppose it does favour Ray somewhat, having only uh, one large base ship. Thank you. 
So the Blue Squadron Pathfinder is down. Oh, so the U-wing that is going to be on the red base will be Clay's Cassian Andor. The one on the clear bases are uh, great. Uh, I've got him marked already, so you can just use the wings to represent what mode we're in. Yeah. Starting with landing. So you can do a spin turn one, fly off table turn two. But you don't, you won't. Because you can remove the stress with Cassian on the blue squadron and then just keep hearing with the other one. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it coming. Tricks, seen it coming. <laughs> it's gonna not fly off the table turn one, folks. It's not a trap <laughs> for himself. The U Wing models are indeed fantastic. Who I'd favour if this came into a straight up joist, I'd probably put my money on Jansen and the U Wings rather than the Raging List. As powerful as Rage is, I feel like the TLT could fall down, but I don't know, there's a potential to waste a lot of fire into Ezra. Come down to dice. So just to try and save space, I have abbreviated some of the upgrades, so as Audio Weasel correctly points out, PW is for Pivot Wing and SS is for Snapshot. So the Bully Squadron Pathfinder does not pull a zero. Ezra does not rage. Just focuses. I should have done it on the first turn so I could just. Mm. Every turn is a rage. That one is advanced sensors on the Pathfinder. I can go... Maybe a little bit clearer. Maybe. Wait, so I got 
get this on. So Ray, uh, sorry, Paul, coming around. So that is Ray with a focus token bank. Right, I've got a better way to do this. No, I said that the um, the new shuttle would have the same dial, the no, Imperial it's a, one. It's at the attack shuttle, the same dial as the Ghost. No, it's pretty close. Not perfect. Very no. hard. I can't do it. Thoughtful moments from the table. Pride is at stake because if Greg loses, the uh, the host of the stream will have done terribly today. <laughs> if Clay loses, he will have lost to one of the hosts of the stream, which means that he's worse than terrible. Keep up the grand tradition of rubbing our noses in it. Squadron Pathfinder does a zero Ezra, does a nice big bank in. Expecting a turn, yeah. So start in the process of coming around. Needs to make sure he's hugging range yeah. one to two of a pathfinder to clear his stress. Target lock on your casting. 
It's an outer range for target walk, so it takes the focus. Jansen will swing around as well, likely, here. Yep. Needs to try and keep pace with these larger ships if he doesn't want to prove to arrive too late. And Paul coming in now. So both of Greg's ships are still in landing mode. Gonna do it in the uh, in the tray. Clay, do you want to put him in the tray? Oh, yeah, tray. It's okay. Hit hit crit onto a boy squadron pathfinder. <laughs> so the advanced sensors focus pays off. He evades once. Down to two sheep. So that is two focus tokens on Terray. You can see where this is going. Huh. Someone forgot to start the timer. This is going to be an interesting round for Greg. I don't know how he's going to be able to bring Wes into a fight quick enough. Clay, I'm expecting to just be massively aggressive and try and get rage on everybody this round. Oh, he should because he will have all the terminology. So it's 
Now, so I don't want to talk too loud, but I think Greg could be in a decent position for this round. I don't know if he'll switch any of the dials up to attack position, but positioning could be good. Yeah, the match is happening. It, they're just in the planning phase at the moment. So Cassian removes the stress. Ah, I did not expect the four forwards. Did not expect that at all. I thought that Greg might pull the hand too and really turn it into this fight, but problem was if I had to I'm taking everything in the oh, face then, yeah. before yeah. I get to do it. Ezra is yeah. region. Yeah, I'm not denying that it was, it's what I expected because I didn't expect that. <laughs> I thought it would be hard to all, all stop again. Yeah, the problem was all stop doesn't give me a shot. No. It was one of those cartoons. Yeah. See Greg having to do his stuff properly because he's TOing regionals soon. <laughs> it's what we like to see. And swinging to attack position. S files to attack position for the U wing. So Greg is running Wes Jansen with adaptability, BB-8 and integrated astromech, the Blue Squadron Pathfinder with Bombardier, Sabine, X Munitions, Connonet, Advanced Sensors and Pivot Wing, and Cassian Andor with Hera, Ray, Snapshot and Fire Control System and also Pivot Wing. So there's a massive traffic jam here, but if Greg's unmodified dice kind of roll average, there's potential for a good bit of damage onto that Pathfinder. 
Greg, having initiative here, I can tell you exactly what's happening next round. <laughs> so I would mention Audio Weasel that you have just posted your Facebook name onto the twi Twitch chat which is on the screen. So you might want to um, enter that until it clears. <laughs> Because that will be on the internet for all of time now. So Greg's snazzy four forwards parking lot manoeuvre seems to have paid off. I didn't want to be... <laughs> it seemed bad. Where's it Cassian? Sorry, yes. Where's it Cassian? Two. So Quay loses two shields on his Cassian. You wouldn't have been able to snapshot. Why not? Because it's range one and he moved first. I know. No, he moved first. He missed it. No, the uh, Cassian has snapshot. Yeah, my Cassian moves first and then his Cassian. Oh, sorry, yeah. So I should have been able to snapshot. Yeah, he should you know, have. Like the whole point of the list. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will be honest, everyone's wish who is playing on your side, I've forgot to remind them things because it isn't directly in my eyesight where I've got the screen set up. I also forgot to bring a token from the ray. <laughs> Get good, man. Which is a pretty big thing. I'm sure Quay will let you move a token from ray. One hit. Probably not. Not the sleeping <laughs> So is that another shield off Cassian? It shouldn't be range one in arc. If it, not even in arc. See, Greg's played this game before. It's the 2013 regional champion? 14. Oh. Before the game was invented, regional champion? Is that old? Greg and his golden daggers. You'd think, having watched go um, Rogue One, that it was bringing those Y Wings back. I will. Spin the focus for three hits. So that is damage. So one damage, was this on the boy squadron? Yeah. And I will re-roll that one from Rage, so two hits. Is that not obstructed? It is not obstructed. So definitely two hits. So shields down. Points on the board for clay. Yes, 
So I know what I would do were I Greg now. Whether he does it or not is a completely different matter. <laughs> so we'll wait until Clay set his dials and then we'll talk about what Greg could do. Sure, Jansen is the problem though. <laughs> oh dear, this is fun. It's a self-induced traffic jam, so I have very little sympathy. There we go, Jansen style is down now, that was a tricky one. Makes it easier for Greg once that one's set. And easy. easier, easier. Have you tried swapping that X-wing dial for a T70 dial? I'm just saying you got confused by the pictures. The pictures are so similar. Yeah. Oh, Jansen does a ta talent roll. Nobody minds. I'm fully expecting all of the tricks to happen this turn for everybody. Okay, dials are down. Let's see what happens. Will it be a bombardiered coronet? Not getting greedy going for Paul in case. So I'm expecting Quay to have done a zero to not take this. Then 
the boy squadron should spin around because it is in landing mode. Then the trick here was whether Cassian does a one forward to just bump to cover the fact that the boy squadron is probably doing a zero to not run over a cannon it. I think I would switch to attack mode. Oh, and it looks like the wings are swinging. So he's in attack mode. Yeah, so Jan lets Ezra get the evade mm -hmm. whilst raging. <laughs> so Cassian does just fly past. I wasn't sure whether he would stay put for the show. Oh, And the wings go to landing mode, so getting to see full use of these U wings. Greg's playing them surprisingly well. <laughs> that was my one calving moment for the stream. <laughs> Hidden barbs are the best barbs. Oh, and the U wing at Cassian did not not move. <laughs> Double negatives, best commentator ever. Cassian did not pull the all stop. So S Sabine will splash. <laughs> so that's shields down. No actions, and he's doing a one forwards next That's turn. One into hole. One into hole, I must have missed the damage. And I did it on the wrong person anyway, so ignore me. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Uh, it's like I've been doing this on my own all night. And that puts Greg on the board. Is that, he's got Ray, right? Cassian has got Ray. Is there going to be an opportunity for Jansen to have a great shot? You know what's even better than this, folks, is that Cassian's taking another Connonet next turn. <laughs> so the barrel rolled backwards here. I'm assuming it was a one bank left. Or is it a one straight? One straight. No, it still bumps. 
So Paul Damaron will be moving in. Will be K turning brave. How is nothing dead? Because both players are actually competent. Checking power stress at the end. Paul still manages to focus. <laughs> yep. Just to get rid of the focus, Jansen will shoot Paul. Roll a dice first, see if it's relevant. <laughs> Two hits, so it is relevant whether this sh shot is obstructed or not. So four and auto thrusters. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yay, there <laughs> goes a great shot, Jansen. That's it, that's all we needed. Just get rid of a focus oh, token. Yeah. 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 Three. So this Pathfinder needs to it's not take guess. two damage. So one crit? One crit. Three. Yep. And there's some evade, so the Pathfinder will live to Conanet someone else. Okay, so Conanet again. Or Conanet again. So, Edra. <laughs> uh, the, the Twitch chat wants to know why you didn't rage with Paul for the triple stress. I honestly didn't think I had Urk, I didn't walk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should have, because then I could have rerolled. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not saying you bottled it, but you know. Well, I also put the uh, landing oh. mode in for getting on my eyes, so. Yeah. Uh, you have to do the one forwards. Yeah. But it still counts as a maneuver, so. Yeah. Alright, oh, right, so yeah, you can't zero on the other Yeah. I'll take the uh, shots at It's an interesting round. So I think Clay is going to have to shoot at the boy uh, squadron. No, shoot. Yeah, it does take the boy squadron. And we roll the two or three. And the next one. And we roll the two. So this is the, uh, the power of raging hits. TLTs. So there's two damage remaining on the boy squadron pathfinder. So it was extremely important that Paul didn't do the damage. So four dice primary from the boy squadron. It's like a hit and a crit. So, definitely taking one damage. Just one crit. Is that damage if you overlap? Oh, can't be a science street. Oh. 
It's okay. It isn't assigned the straight. Yeah. It just does it. Oh. Cassian down to one. So it is down to one or two? Down, down to one. two. So should die to a boy squadron pathfinder. <laughs> but will likely cost a boy squadron pathfinder his life. Thirty minutes remaining. You're halfway there. Wow, Clay is currently winning by two points. Is that three focus on Rainer? There are three focus on. Rainer. Yeah. Greg styles are down, it's just Paul who's got to pick something to do. Um, looks like he should be in range 2 of Cassian, so it should be an open dial for him. Apparently we need to come up with some way to re-dub um, ACDC's TNT into a Raging TLT song. <laughs> Everyone's stress is going away. Cassian clears stress from a voice squadron. Tubba Cassian. Clear stress from Paul. I thought I'd go a little bit Wigan for people there. There's nothing more Wigan than saying Cassian's clear stress from Paul. Oh, look at that. It's almost like Cassian is lined up to get a Connonet dropped on him. Landing mode with a really aggressive blocking position. Conanet will just kill Cassian because Sabine damage. 
Yeah. All my bombs are gone. You could have probably used it on that one. I think it would have still fitted. <laughs> that was like, bomb is terrible, and I'll never use it at that point. So. I think in the context of being able to drop it before you do the zero at range two. So quite quite correctly doesn't completely de-stress Ezra. He's not getting any actions anyway. So keeping the focus is actually better. Cassian does the expected spin. And Greg charges into the lead. It will depend quite heavily on if Paul collides with that boy squadron or not. Is this the one forwards? Or? That's I expected, but... So I think this has been a really good example of how and when to use the turns, for, or the 0k turns. I know I had a lot of discussion with people on Facebook uh, who were talking about the fact that it telegraphs things far too much, and I'm of the opinion that if you use it well and plan how you're going to fly. Even if your opponent knows you're going to do it, there's not always things they can do about it. The blue squadron lives. Would have been wicked awesome. Sorry. Um mentally slow today. You're just stupid, Clay. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. So um so what's so Jansen on pole for two damage. And one of eight. So one shield off pole. You have to start somewhere. It's now a balanced and fair fight between Jansen and Paul, because Paul should never have that focus talking in the end phase. So Greg again forgets to put the focus token off ray onto Cassian because he's bad at the game. I'll slap that laser down there again. So there's a reason why you managed to get three focuses stacked up on the card is he never takes them off it. Hit crit onto Cassian. We'll be rolling three, ident uh, three defense stars. No focus because he's stupid. Oh, look at that. Had he a focus token, he would have been undamaged. Yes, I am taking great, great pleasure in this. <laughs> uh, 
Final thruster one. So did, did Paul tag down there? Yeah, he took another one. Okay. To be fair to me, the initial ones didn't have Ray in. I was cheating and I got Captain Rex, so he wasn't actually in I think this is actually much better if you remember that Ray does it the other way as well. One crit. This is on Wes? Yeah. For nothing. All eyeballs. Would have been nice to have been raging. Depending on how long this game takes, depends on if there is another game after it or not. I think there's 20 minutes left in the game. If the game is finished within 10, then we'll do another one. If it is not finished within 10 minutes, we will not do a fourth game. The problem is that not everyone loses as gracefully and quickly as I do. So chooses not to uh, go to attack position. So as long as Paul either bumps or, well, Paul shouldn't have a shot. Ezra should, oh no, that could give him a shot now. It's, it'll be tight on the range though. Yeah. Yeah, the chance of doing Jansen needs some great shooting if you want to see a fourth game. I'm expecting this to be a one bank left. 
one straight. One straight, okay. So uh, So Jensen will slam into Cassian, but he's basically setting Cassian up for a kill shot on Paul, or so he hopes. Let's see, three forwards that I expect to clear that stress. Should be snapshot then, I guess. Snapshot for crit, crit. Oh. <laughs> One of it. So another shield down from Paul. I think the bump, it forces a choice of targets for Clay now. He either goes for the Pathfinder with a TLT or Wes. So, finally remembering that he can transfer a token. <laughs> He's worried about Cassian being the target of a TLT, I would as assume. So, double focus on to Cassian. Yep. So, what have we got? Two left on here. It's down to Ezra. So the way I have it is that there is two damage remaining on the Boy Squadron Pathfinder, one shield down on Wes and one shield down on Cassie. Rowan one. The Pathfinder lives. And one. <laughs> the Pathfinder potentially lives with no damage. Yeah. <laughs> the Pathfinder took zero damage from Ezra's TLT. Yeah. So Greg did lose out on a potentially bank focus on Ray, but seeing as he doesn't actually use them when it's important, there is very little loss in game terms. Buzzsaw Pathfinders I think I would go Ray with Gunner could be interesting. Ray, Gunner and um, Cassian with expertise in the fire control system could be fun, but I don't know. Probably Wingman. Wingman's funny on Cassian.
So for me here, you send Johnson to chase after Paul. The Pathfinder's staying where he is anyway, and Cassian starts gunning for Ezra. I think a buzzsaw pathfinder will be better than a buzzsaw lander purely because you'll get to fire it more often but the things you'll work is that Darth Vader crew so you're not just hammering someone for those crits uh, I think there's scope in the game for it to be useful in certain wests So that's the aggressive play from the Pathfinder. A defensive play would have been to uh, run, away. run away around. Run that. So, so, let's see if I have to turn off the dice cam. So it's raging, we're just deciding whether Jan or well, Jan is on Cassian, so I'll just be quiet now. Because <laughs> he's got inspiring recruit on Fezra. Playing the long game to catch Paul. Interesting. From Paul to Nippy. So let's see if Paul has done a Talon roll or not. Oh, so that makes uh, Greg's play a little bit so fortuitous, but we'll TLT see. On thing, I guess. So. Ezra's still trying to get the Pathfinder. Three. There's one damage. And Rage rerolls. And spin. You've only got the two. There goes the Pathfinder, which puts Quay in the lead. With 35 what? points for a boy squad and pathfinder, oh, 31 yeah, points for a Cassian. It's going to definitely hinder the movements of the code. That's why the better play is to run away with the Pathfinder. I wasn't sure if he would try and run away. Yeah. Or not, I could have tried to chase him. Yeah, I think. Probably 
question. Wes is this better chasing Paul because of the token stripping? But unless you're going to put multiple shots into him, you are just trying to distract Paul and keep him running out of the game. So you have to commit really to winning by your current margin if you were going to take that strategy because there's no guarantees that Cassian could take down uh, Ezra and Wes could take down Paul. And I will read. Um, I'm fully mm. expecting Clay to do what Greg didn't and run away. So I would say no, he doesn't need to fear a mustache rock. Hear a crew coming um, in now? All guns for Paul then. Yep, and I'm assuming it is not a Talon roll. No. Paul starts to flee, leaving Greg to wish that he'd have been less of a man. Target walk, which will come back yeah, for control. fire control. Rolls into a blank, spends the focus. So, two. So, that and auto thrusters. The perfect pole roll. Oh, he's on one shield now, he's about to be on two shields. <laughs> so, Clay, learning his lessons from Ian there, stalling for time. takes another damage. Cassian down to one shield. Gains a second shield.
ready? Ezra clears his stress and gets to rage again. This is the important one. BBH. <laughs> Takes a target lock on pole just in case. There is a K turn. He's going to take the focus. So that looks like no shooting. So before he gets to roll the dice, <laughs> you're not allowed to rush your opponent. I forgot he's got Ray too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spend it. Three. So that's half point for Cassian. And three. Back up to full on Paul. Play game sixteen points. So that is time, gentlemen. No. <laughs> You've got twenty what twenty two points to make up in this turn. If Wesley had done the four, he would have gone over Rock and still potentially not had the shot because Paul might have done the hard three and then boosted. So, snapshot, Wes, and then not dying to pull. <laughs> I think Clay would have opted into a joist at this point. I don't know that I would have BB-8. So did Paul bravely run away, or did he opt into a joist? Oh, he is outside range one. <laughs> no snapshot. Where's his stress? Oh, sure, he would probably like bank three over here and a boost that away. But he is going to rage because it's the last turn, so. Cassian's going to All right, higher on the west. So, no no auto thrusters. Target lock. Focus. 
full health now? Yeah. Four, two of eight. Damage, I get to take a pet shield. Ah, uh, there you go. That's a game then. Turn shot. Any. Pull, so any anyway. pull play worth yeah. his soul would have been better to take as many as it can. Uh, raging reroll for three hits on the Cassian. There you go. Takes one. Takes one to wave. Well, so even if you don't spend it, you're still alive. Yeah. And you're dying to a TLT regardless. <laughs> so don't spend it. And then shoot him. If you get the crit. That's true, that's true. Yeah, take you. Should have, should have had two tokens on that, but I forgot <laughs> me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Is it because I hurried you? You're the one who shot for the center mic. So, <laughs> that's only three forgotten rays. I should have started a counter. That's four. Is it four? All you need is all of the blank. Oh, it's not so the case. Uh, let's see if Ezra finishes you off. No, he's not. I'm not raging. I'm not raging. So I can't finish it. No, you can because I took the answer down. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it obstructed? Yeah. It is, but because I forgot the uh, token. <laughs> Forgetting Ray has cost Greg dearly. Well, no, because he was going to win anyway. Well, no, if you'd have re remembered all of the Rays. Yeah, that's true. Forgetting like every single thing, like the initial snapshot, and then about four Rays. 66 to 31. Okay. I am extremely uh, tired. Yeah. So, sorry it was not as enjoyable on the commentary side as it could have been. I personally blame Calvin and Zach. Well, honestly, I didn't expect to be four forward right off the bat there. Okay, let's bring it back. There we go. So, that's three games with new ships. I think we showed off the U Wing quite well. Um, Ian did well with Savak, so did Aaron. My Imperial trainees didn't, uh, didn't shine as well in my game as they have previously, but it wasn't to be today. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, next week is going to be the Boxing Day show, so we're not sure how busy the store will be. But the plan is to have a bit of a um, Century Box Board Gaming Bonanza, I think we called it, because that is just enough bees to make it fun to say. So that will be Greg flying solo, um, and just setting up a load of different games. So if you're interested in any random board game stuff. It's normally a fun stream to watch, lots of people enjoying themselves. And then if you check the Sentry Box uh, YouTube, um, sorry, not Sentry Box YouTube, you find us on Facebook and check the events page for the Sentry Box. We do have all of our upcoming streams listed as events on there now. So that should be uh, pretty nice and um, it will be interesting Hopefully the audience will go up a little bit. I didn't get a chance to um, pimp out this show as much as I would have liked. We do have Mansions of Madness planned. We will have the Armada Regionals coming up, Imperial Assault Regionals. We have X-Wing Regionals, which I'm going to get to play in. So lots of fun stuff coming for the channel, uh, especially moving into 2016, I think. We are a month away from our uh, birthday show, so that will be interesting. The middle of January is uh, the Monday Night Gaming one year anniversary. And then you also get to celebrate with me on the 13th of February. 
that will be my birthday so we're gonna have a Chris's game day stream on the 13th so feel free to tune in for that one I'm gonna close out the show there guys thanks for watching everybody and good night <laughs>